and here is Ventnor. Vendo is a town located right next to the one that I live in. Okay, not really right next. There are one or two places in between. But we... We, we... What the hell am I doing? So hey guys, we're in Ventna currently. Which is, like I just said, the town right next to where I live, in Shanklin. And... It's Honda. Honda, well, Honda, Watson, Bull and Porter, which are, I think they're state agents, I'm not sure, um, quite, fr to be quite frank with you, I have absolutely no idea where I'm going, I'm also standing in front of New China House, I'm guessing it's a Chinese restaurant, I'm not sure, Hmm. So continuing on. Cooperative. Good with food. Um, some music shop right next to me. The guy's watching me, so I'm not gonna film. Right move. Uh, from White House and something. White House and I can't remember what it was called. The Island Wine Company. Best place if you want to get drunk. That's a lot of wine. Um, oh, my back in hospice. <laughs> Guys laughing at me because I'm filming. Yeah, you get used to it once in a while. I don't know. Um, Tilly's Cafe. Thistle Cafe. There's a thistle cafe. Um, now we're going out of the town centre, there's Elizabeth House, I have no idea what that is. The Winter Gardens, and here is the sea. Now, Vetna is mostly known for its incredibly huge seafront. I can show you what it's like from up here. Of course, we'll be going down to the seafront, and I can show you what it's like there. But from here, that's what it's like. Of course, you've got other sites, stuff in Ventnor, make it a very popular place to. Come on holiday because well that's pretty much You're kidding me, right? Dead end. Oh crap. Okay, back up here. Backing up. Backing up. Also we've got this up here which I'm going to go to. Up here, up here, up here. You can get very good views from up here. I'm guessing. To be honest, I've never actually been up here before. So this is a great moment to share with people who are viewing this. Okay, well this is pretty nice. Okay. You see that pier thing down there with the lights on and all that? That is Ventnor Haven fried fish to take away. The camera is sh shaking a lot, so probably can't see that but still that was a fish and chip shop on a cliff okay poo pool pool I believe is um town on the mainland Washington is apparently 6095 kilometers that way Panama is that way Al Dirty, I'm not even going to time for that thing. Madrid, it's that way, about 1,147 kilometers. Good thing about this stuff. Barcelona is that way. 
if any, like the most powerful op optical zoom in the world was invented, then I can actually film Barcelona from here. Le Havre, Le Havre, Le Havre. I'm terrible with French. Paris is that way. Luxembourg is that way. Um, something is that way. Chester. Now, um, which way is it? Because, well, um, I wonder what way it is. No, I'm kidding, it's that way. See, that's Chester right there. Okay. London is that way. That's a nice waterfall. Portsmouth, a town just on the other side of the um, Isle of Wight, is that way. Past everything that's blocking our sight of it, which we can't actually obtain from here. Um, Manchester is that way. Southampton is that way. And bam, that's about it. It's everything there. All of those places, they are awesome. Of course, down there you've got a um, huge, huge path. Yeah. Um, you've got that chip, fish and chip shop on a pier. How awesome. Uh, again, how awesome is that? This is Ventnor Haven. Um, yeah. You can probably not read all of that. But you've got a nice view from over here. The sea, the wind. You probably can hear the wind. You've got the um, sea smashing up against the rocks there. It's not exactly a um, crispy blue sea because hell, it's still the middle of winter. But it's still a very nice place. The only problem with Ventnor is that, um, seeing it's so downhill from the rest of the Isle of Wight, things like radio signals and phone signals are terrible here. But hey, if you wanted to get out, if you are annoyed with your parents or someone else keep calling you, come to Ventnor. If you don't live anywhere near Ventnor, then I recommend you don't do that. Unless you're looking forward to a very huge bill. Now, doesn't that look amazing? Coming all the way from up there. Down there. You have a cup. Go figure. Of course, you've got the um, drain that goes down there. Now, this isn't really natural as such. There's um, a man-made... Yeah, like it says. Cascade Gardens designed the 1900s by Edgar, Edgar J. Harvey town survey after 19 years apparently and these were designed by him now that is some good designing I mean the water flows down very well and of course it goes down there all the way up there again to pour back down again. I think that's pretty cool actually. There's your um Ventnor Fish Ventnor Haven fishery again. Now in the summer this pool is filled with water and um kids play in these kids play in here and here's um the Isle of Wight. Of course it doesn't really look like much because oh we're looking at sideways. So there's East Cow. So um it's actually East Cow's at the top of the Isle of Wight, so... So, well, we got... Well, we pretty much listed all um, the main roads. So there's Shankton, where I live. There's Ventnor, upside down. There's Sandown. Got here, Ride, upside down. Here's East Cow's, upside down. And Cow's, again, upside down. Now, um, cows and east cows are across a huge, on the other side of, on two, but there's a huge river in between them, so, one's cows, one's east cows. I'm not sure why cows isn't west cows, and did east cows come before or after west cows, I'm not sure, but that's besides the point. 
So kids play here all the time in the summer. But of course, seeing as it's winter, I don't think any idiot would like going paddling. I mean, our winters aren't that hot. Sushi. Ventnor is a very, very, very popular place with fishing boats and stuff because oh, we get a lot of fish. Whoa, Nelly. We get a lot, we get a lot of fishermen down here. Ventnor is also a popular place with a very, very rough sea. If you live down here, it's kind of the sort of thing you get used to. I mean, I walk on the seafront a lot. Not down in Ventnor per se, just more between Shankland and Sandown. Just kind of, there's um, where you pay, here's a car park, you pay for it here. Here's the machine. Now car parks down here, overall keep getting, the prices keep getting raised because the council likes doing that apparently. The Coastal Visitor Centre, lots of recycling bins, we have a lot of those down here. And currently, upstairs we go. Here's a randomly placed bench, just in case you get tired, and there's a hat. Up, 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 up. Ah, and here's the winter gardens, which I heard was shutting down or something. Well, actually, it's just wind. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So yeah, um, they were having huge, huge thingy and majig and more majig there. It's the winter G ray, the, the, the wind G Rudis Rudy S. RDS. Okay, I can't. I can barely even. So, okay, well, to be honest, before this, I never actually knew where the winter gardens were. Go figure. Children's menu, full menu, specials, carvery, and that thing. Is that thing. So this is just the um, path along the seafront I'm going along here. No, which is going to be very embarrassing, which is the most populous part. Got puddles, Millie Bay Inn. Local all day, local real ales. What a great way to advertise. Um. <laughs> it's a clock, it's a clock. It's like a clock. There's a um, lot of hotel bunks. Not bunks at all. Um, I can't remember what they're called. Balconies, that was it. And there's a clock. It's a big, big clock. Of course, nothing... Oh, a door. Anyway, of course it's nothing like Big Ben or something like that. There's, um, Pints... 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 Pintzo... Pl playa? How do you pronounce that? It's, um... Gaia, the Gaiety Amusements, Gaiety Amusements. I can't figure out how to figure out how the stuff that actually exists here. Beach Hut Diner, now that, doesn't that sound appetizing? Ventnor Vent Bay Cafe, eat in and take away. Personally, I think the Beach Hut Diner sounds a lot more appetizing. What I do love about Ventnor is tiny museums. The Ale and Oyster at Richmond's house. Cool. And of course, an inn. See, at night over here, pe places like inns and bars like to make themselves look appealing. It's also a bed and breakfast. Vacancies. You got everything at the Spug... Spyglas... The Spyglass Inn. Cool. And that's pretty much all that's here. Cool, alright, well, I'll see you later.